Here in the Mid-South, a considerable part of our population lives with sickle cell anemia, a crippling disease without a cure, at least not yet. Good day, Memphis anchor Kelsey Karens reports. Researchers at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital are experimenting with a controversial gene editing therapy that has the potential to end sickle cell as we know it. This is the first molecular disease and we can't do anything to help it. Sickle cell anemia affects more than 4,000 people here in the Bluff City. While there's no cure, researchers at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital are getting closer and closer. Dr. Mitchell Weiss specializes in pediatric hematology and oncology at St. Jude. We're going from a situation where there's not very much that we can do to having a tremendous amount of opportunities. Researchers have found a way to use gene editing therapy called CRISPR to essentially fix sickle cell disease. CRISPR, short for clustered regularly interspaced palindromic repeats, can be used to edit the DNA of living human cells. Dr. Shengdar Sai works in experimental hematology at St. Jude. It's basically like a small molecular scissor that can cut the DNA at specific points, and then the cell can repair the DNA to make uh, particular changes. Changes that could cure a sickle cell patient. Here's how it works. Dr. Sai just mentioned that molecular scissor, that scissor or enzyme, cuts the bad DNA inside a cell. This creates a mutation that fixes the DNA. And as cells grow and divide, as they do in our body at any given moment, newly edited cells are formed. While it seems like the next best thing, critics in the medical field say that such a mutation can create more problems later, possibly causing other health issues. Now, while the tools and technology are here, this therapy is not ready to be mass produced. This is the experimental phase. What we would like to see is for this research to reach a point where it becomes approved as a standard care. Kelsey Cairns, Local 24 News.